Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case break of that right there on your screen. 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball 8 box jumbo edition. Pick your team 11 right there on Tuesday the 10th. There's everyone right there. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, carrot next to your name, that means you got that team in a team random. There's the case right there. We'll pop this open. And... We're also going to sign Darren Erstad. You're going to sign Darren Erstad? He had that one Angels? monster season where he had 240 hits. Oh my god, yeah, average. I remember that. It was, like, it was like 2000. Darren Erstad. Life was a lot simpler then. Darren Erstad's hitting pissed missiles to the outfield. Man, bring Darren Erstad back. That was a team. Bring, bring Chris Sabo. Remember Chris Sabo with those goggles? Yeah, the Reds? Yeah, it was on the Reds. That's right. Maybe Tim Salmon? Tim Salmon's great. That's awesome. I think Ken got last double, triple last spot on Mojo. Yankees, Angels, Tigers, by the way. Important to take note of that, ladies and gentlemen. Just, you just want to know where that extra mojo comes from. All right. Was Chris Sable rookie of the year? A 29-year-old rookie of the year? Wow. How many years did he spend in the minors? I hope the Cubs sign Derek Lee this offseason. That'd be a nice sign. Derek Lee? Yeah. Put him on first? Yeah. Rizzo's a scrub. Get, De sucks. get Derek Lee back. Bring back Derek Lee. Box in the jumbo, of course. Quick reminder: three autographs, as opposed to super jumbo, which has five. Jumbo has three. No hobby. Heard angels are in the running for Eric Ibar. Get Eric, get Eric Ibar in uniform. That's what they're talking about. The winter meeting. You just opened up a lot of contract space for Eric Ibar. All right. By the way, if you're watching live. The uh, MLB draft tracker is right there. 48 million AAVs. And you can track uh, some of the big names you can have there. Jeffrey Peace, name dropping a little bit here. Sabo married a friend of mine's sister. Really nice guy. Do you bring up the fact that he was a 29 year old rookie of the year at like family functions? Uh, friend, does he wear friend the sports function? goggles? Too? Does he wear the goggles when he goes out? When he got married. When he got married, did he wear the goggles? He's like, it's game day. Game day, wedding. All right, there's J.J. Goss for the Rays. That goes to Josh Lucas. Late first round pick there. Breaking news, Dodgers signed Rick and Keel. Wow. To a pitching contract. Bring him back. He's going to be a, a he, dual. He's the next Shohei. Josh, Dodgers need some relief pitching. Who's this D.D. Gregoris? No one knows D.D. Gregoris. He's no David Eckstein. What they should have done, taken that money, signed the flying Hawaiian. Shane Victorino. <laughs> Shane Victorino. Classic. This is Brett Beatty. The flying Hawaiian. Remember uh, Bobby Abreu? Bring Bobby Abreu Bo Angels was a beast. Bobby Abreu Phillies, too. Bring Bobby Abreu back. Johnny Damon. I'll bring back Royals Johnny Damon. That's what you want. Royals Johnny Damon. What A's about, Johnny what Damon. What about Yankees Jacoby Ellsbury? Yankees. That was a disaster. That was, that was a disaster. Now they're not paying him. I know. Should sue. I think he is. I think him and the players union are like, what the hell? 
I don't even know how how are they trying to get away not paying him. I don't know injury or something. Um, added two fifty. Brady McConnell. He got injured off the practice facility. Or something. Oh, so they're just like. He was bowling with Le'Veon Bell. They should be suspended for a year for signing free agents, so no Garrett Cole for them. Ian Kerrigan, who got the Royals in a team random. Bring back Eric Hinsky. Yeah, Vince Coleman. Bring back the speedster, Vince Coleman back. What's this all MLB first team? Oh, what the first team is what a terrible. I think they're trying to be like the Stupid. NBA. Yeah. Oh, printing plate. Michael Massey Royals. That'll be for Ian, who got the Royals in a team random. Bing, bing. All aboard. Woo -woo. There you go, Ian. Nice printing plate. Still have not seen a Super Fractor yet, but we've seen a few of those printing plates. I think they're... Might be slightly more common than Super Fractors. They got a second team? That I did not know. They did a second team? Yeah. That's stupid. I'll try to be like the NBA. Everyone sees through it. Now Scott Boris is just going to look at this chart and be like, I've got 10 guys on the uh, on the MLB. Oh, yeah, Mike Soroka. Yeah, Mike, I got Mike Soroka on the all NBA, all NMLB team. Now Garrett Cole's going to cost you this much. Matt Mercer, paper to four ninety nine. The Red Sox are also bringing back Mike Lowell. I heard. Bring back Mike Lowell. He's gonna get signed right off this. Right off the MLB set. Yeah. Also, Carlos Pena. You think Bo Jackson is still DH? No. Just get him out there. Just have him just rake. No. Frank Thomas. He's fit anymore. Frank Thomas he's looks fit. He's got he's, he's got that commercial. He's got eugenics. It's working for him. <laughs> he looks great. She'll like it too, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I think he I think he can DH again. And there's Adley Rushman. Nice. Ken Goldberg with the Orioles. Picked his team. Here. Can you borrow this one? We're not ripping for another hour. First overall. Yeah, you can use it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing this for like an hour, yeah. Now, Bo Jackson will not be playing the outfield, Rex. You just get Bo Jackson. You just sign him. You get him You get him as a DH. That's where you put him. Just give him three at-bats a night. Remember when people thought Mookie Betts is better than Mike Trout? That was funny. I think people do think that. <laughs> yeah, he's an all-second team. Not All my, second team? Not my best player. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag not my player. <laughs> not my, not my second player, team. Not my first yeah. teamer. I got it. Oh, cool. Was it in my room? No, back to one of the showcases. Oh, okay. Oh, boy. There's a scratch there, Jason. Showcase gate. Showcase oh. gate. Ooh, is that some red? Oh, not orange. Orange paper. Jack. Jack K. I'm going to go Kakanowitz. Kakanowitz? Cook or Koch? Kachanowitz? That's actually pretty good. Or Kakanowitz. 18 out of 25. Orange paper. Where's Sean? Sean. Sean Corbett. Kachanowitz. Kachanowitz? Yeah. Kachanowitz? That goes to the Halos. That'll be for Ken with the Angels. And we will do a autograph recap at the end, of course. So stay tuned for that. We'll slide this box here. Three autos there. Three autos there. Watch for that little lip right there on the, on the rubber mats. Yeah. Another three autos there. That's just paper. Here, I'll grab those paper. That's just paper. Paper doesn't ship. Oh, get out of here, Ryan Jensen. Oh, that's Tyler Strump. Ryan Jensen. Chase Strump. All right, there you go. Thanks, Nick. All right. Is it a Vitz? Vitch? Not a Witz? How do you tell the difference? Whoa! 
dual autograph franchise futures for the Blue Jays. 92 out of 99. Who's got the Bluebirds? Mark Matson got the Blue Jays in a team random of all things. Can you believe that? We got Alec Manoa and Kendall Jenner Williams. 92 out of 99. Nice franchise futures autograph from Mark. Mojo's asking, is it true that managers are considered players and can take an at-bat during the game? No. That is not true. Unless he was on the 25-man roster, then I guess he could. But that would be a player manager. Which can happen. I think Pete Rose player manager for a few years at the end of his career. Larry Bird. Did Larry Bird do that? No, no, no. He coached the Pacers that one time. And then he was having like heart attacks and stuff. And he just couldn't do it. His back gave out on him too. He's also like a deadbeat dad, I think. That's what I hear. Yeah. I hear that all the time. Redemption. Yeah. What if it's probably Hunter Bradford? Probably Hunter Bishop. It's a 150. Chris Murphy reveals a Hunter Bishop autograph uh, refractor parallel for the Giants. There you go. Let's go with the next one. For the Gigantes. San Francisco SF with that one. That's going to go to Fong, who got the Giants. Uh, Giants straight up. Was Pete Rose the last player manager? Really? Worse than Rory Hachimura's? Hachimura's is pretty bad. His is just a check mark. There's CJ Abrams, 499 for the Padres. Ryan with the Friars. Brian O saying off topic, another number one just lost to an unranked team. Number one what? Louisville basketball. Oh, basketball? Lots of Texas Tech. This, this, is, this is a completely different case, Mojo Joe. This is a jumbo case, not a super jumbo case. If this was the second half of the super jumbo, then I could I could see I could see your uh, your come on man. I like the Hachimal better than anybody, but his autograph out of two fifty, Lazaro Armenteros. I'm buying his silvers. Wait, aren't are are Hachimal still pretty popular this Christmas season? Yes. Everyone wants it. He's hot. We're ca talking about Hachimura. Yeah, what, what I'm talking about Hachimals. Oh, I don't know what a Hachimal is. What? <laughs> Brandon Malone. Hey, you want to hear something funny, Aaron? You got a text message today? Uh, and Trendsetter just got the Eagles in impeccable. Nice. You see that Santa in the top? Top that? camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Good Santa. There he is. Delivering the Christmas spirit. Greg McKinnon. The actor? No, Brandon Malone. Going to Greg McKinnon. Is he the act? Is Greg McKinnon an actor? There he is. He's in the chat. Greg McKinnon, are you an actor? In a major motion pictures? Greg McK are you famous, Greg McKinnon? I don't think we have anyone famous that you might be our first famous person. I am not an actor, says Greg McKinnon. All right. You you have been getting hits though, EA, with those random. With the random teams, though. There's Adam uh, Andre Palente to 99, green chrome. Whoa. That looks creepy. Why? He has no eyes. It's the angel face. I, it's that's really weird. He's like a that that just that I'm getting have hey, nightmares of that. That's, that's gonna give me Christmas nightmares. I thought it was fake. Right? Yeah, I mean, 
Oh, because the Angels are going to haunt the Dodgers this year? The Angels aren't even in L.A. No, they're in Anaheim. They're not even in L.A. County. They're in Orange County. I will. I do. New York, New Jersey Jets, New Jersey Giants. Well, it says I can invite seven friends. When are you going to come down here again? Well, EA's like, I need O's Padre. Yeah, so does everyone else. It's it's got no eyes and no mouth. I know, right? Dodgers one too. It's we I know it's just weird. it's just weird. It's wobbles. It's a wobbler. I want to draw eyes on it, then I think I can accept it into my my uh, my heart. <laughs> Where'd you guys get those? They're kind of cool. <laughs> I'm not telling you now. They're by, they're kind of cool. It's just perfect. that they need eyes. I know, right? It's like the Amazon boxes without eyes. Those are weird in those Amazon commercials. That trips me out. There's Reese Hines. There you go. That goes to the Reds. Thirty random spots, not once. I don't know. Probably pretty, pretty good that know, yeah, you won't get those. I mean, you're no random teams. You can't really go into it looking for specific teams at that point. If you're going to get thirty, you might as well just buy the teams outright. If you got to math that out, EA. There is a uh, Glen Allen Hill Jr. Glen Allen Hill Jr. Is was there a Glen Allen Hill Senior that was a baseball player? I think. So, yeah, remember Glen Allen Hill. His kids in baseball now. Out of 250, purple paper, Greg McKinnon with that one. Rex is saying Glen Allen Hill hit the longest home run ever at Wrigley. There's Hunter Bishop to 150. Don't know if it still stands, though. Schwarber's home run that hit the top of the scoreboard, that was pretty long, wasn't it? And we've got, nice, we got nice. Kyron Paris, Kylo Ren Paris, 6 out of 25. <laughs> yeah, Rhino says it's still in orbit around the Earth. It was mashed to the moon. Angels, that goes to Ken Goldberg. Remember, we, we will do a uh, autograph recap at the end of this. So if you're watching the replay of this, you got this far, and you're like, there's no way I'm watching the rest of this video, <laughs> you can just fast forward right to the end. If you're watching live, you're just stuck with me. You're stuck with me, ladies and gentlemen. How do we feel about D.D. Gregorius? One year, $14 million to the Phillies. Thought the, uh, thought the Yankees would hold on to, to D.D. Gregorius. I feel like if you look at his power numbers, I feel like that Yankee Stadium is built to maximize his power. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if the dimensions are similar in, in Philadelphia, though. There's Ethan Small, 142 out of 250. 
Brew Crew. Prove it deal? Does DD need to prove it? I, I mean, I guess to the market he, he did. Um, and Brewer, yeah, Coop, once again, gets the, I, I like those inserts, Coop. Those insert autographs look pretty sweet. Didi chose, oh, the Phillies over the Giants and the Brewers. Interesting. Interesting, because he likes the East Coast. Rex Jeffrey Peace is saying that it was Dave Kingman who hit the longest home run. There's Antoine Kelly for the Brewers at 250. Was Ethan Small was the SEC strikeouts leader? Cooper saying. There you go. There's Gunnar Henderson to 499. And paper. All right. Next box. Right here. Oh, I see. Rex saying Glenn Allen Hill hit the longest Cub. Was the Cub to hit the longest home run? There's Brett Beatty. Batty for Karen. Aglia with the New York Metropolitans. The longest non-Cub home run, David Kingman. There you go. Nice refractor auto. Brett. Batty. Beatty. Matt Beatty. He's a Dodger. Ladies and gentlemen, who are the mystery teams for Garrett Cole? Scott Boris is saying that Dodgers, Angels, Yankees are in on Garrett Cole and two mystery teams. Who are the mystery teams who are seriously in on, on Garrett Cole? Well, with that attitude, EA, yeah, probably. <laughs> Gotta stay positive. Out of 250, Jake Gunther, purple chrome. I feel like that's just Scott Boris just being like Astros, says Sean. Yeah, Josh Lucas saying everyone's a mystery team for Boris clients. Yeah, I feel like Boris is just trying to pit everybody against each other. It's like, ooh, we got mystery teams. Out of 150, Jamari Baylor. I feel like that's uh, I feel like that's just Boris stirring the pot, right? That sounds like such like a, like a gimmick, like a game show gimmick or something like that. And mystery teams. <laughs> Here's Ryan Nelson, Diamondbacks, six out of seventy-one. Ryan says Cubs are lacking in the world. We're not done yet. We got not two more autographs out of here. Three, 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 three. Still have a ways to go. What if the rest of the break was Cubs autos? Then you would be like, oh, the Cubs are actually great in that case. Got to play the whistle. Oh, you mean checklist-wise? I see. Well, that we, we, we probably priced the team accordingly. Then this is a pick your team break. So, if the Cubs didn't have a lot of hits, they were probably priced more less expensive. I don't think there's a traditional case hit in this product, Laurel. 
Just prospect autos, prospect hunting. Oh, you got it in the random. All right, well, you've got a case then, right? All right, next one here in Jumbo, pick your team 11. I think pick your team 12 is pretty close to filling too. There's Cameron Cannon, kaboom. That goes to the Red Sox, Fred, who got it in the team random. Eric Miller, possibly a, a, a variation. I'll set that aside. Chris Bacco just saying thanks. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, Chris. I'll take a thanks out of the blue. There's Nassim Nunez, 13 out of 99, green chrome. Next stack of cards. Let's get this set out of the way here. Let's bring that in. And there's Ryan Jensen, Richard Miller with the Cubs. Got the Cubs in a team random. The other half K sold out? Yeah, Aster, for sure. Nice. All right. Yeah, confirm. Jumbo, Super Jumbo 10 is sold out. And Jumbo 12 is down to four. Looks like everybody is in a baseball mood. Remember, Jumbo is going to take eat up an hour of our time. Well, Super Jumbo will take up an hour of our time. And then um, if that 8-box Jumbo 12, Pick Your Team 12 sells out, that will eat up about an hour and a half of time. That's two and a half hours. Two hours. So we are probably down to the last hour of the broadcast by my rough estimation. We end at 10 o'clock Pacific. Right, two hours is eight thirty, and then, I mean, if everything sells out directly after this, so we should be at the last hour of the broadcast. I think that'd be a perfect time slot to knock out that Prism basketball, that half caser, and then that'd probably bring us right to the end of the night. And there may be some some chances that uh, that if something else sells out, then that may be pushed to the next day. There's Braden Shoemake, 12 out of 50 gold paper. So, like for example, impeccable fans, let's knock out that impeccable. Otherwise, it may get pushed to tomorrow if all these longer breaks gobble up all of our time. Michael, this is uh, Jumbo 11. Jumbo, pick your team 11. 16 out of 75, Aaron Chunk for the Rockies. That's going to go to Ryan. Got the Rockies in a team random.
Josh Pruce, what's up? I'm ice cold in this product, he says. Well, it's always the, always another product we can do. Well, we're not done yet. What if you get the, we haven't pulled this, what if you get a Super Fractor out of here? Super Fractor Josh Young? No longer ice cold. We still have this stack. That, that, and that to go. Got a lot of ways to go, folks. Play into the whistle. There's Brady McConnell to 499. That's for the Royals, picked up by Ian in the team random. Got a gold Hunter Bishop, 50 out of 50. Gold Chrome for the Giants. Fong Nguyen with the San Francisco Baseball Giants. We got Jake Sanford to 499. It's pronounced jelly. For reals. Next stack, and we'll do an autograph recap at the end. There's Luke and Baker to 499. And we got Cameron Cannon, 237 out of 250. That'll be for the, oh, my top layers are here. That'll be for the Red Sox, Fred, who got the Bow Sox in a team random on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Ryan Jensen, 23 out of 99 for the Cubs. Richard Miller. Hey, Jason, wasn't Josh McCowan about to dress and go in as a wide receiver? Like emergency receiver right there. There's Ryan Jensen for the Cubs. My buzzy buddy's name, Ryan Jensen. I got out of 150 blue chrome Clark Schmidt. There's Will Wilson to 150, he got traded today. I'll still go to the Angels. Still on the West Coast though.
know the song, he's singing a song there. <laughs> EA, the way you put it, I think all my hats are bad luck. You're like, I wear a Dodgers hat, bad luck. Wear this hat, it's bad luck. No hat, bad luck. Maybe I'm just bad. Break with Jason, Eric. Maybe you, maybe, maybe you just need a new dealer. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> so rude. Thanks, Laurel. It is a nice hat. There's Kendall Williams. Just not just not for Eric though. Blue Jays, Mark Matson. What? You can, Jason, trust me. You can. Peaky Blinders hat, see if you ever watch Peaky Blinders. Hicklin to 250 purple chrome. No, I, I feel like I feel like all 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 men in all shapes and sizes can rock these hats. These are universal hats, Sean Corbett. You can be you can be any race. Religion, short, tall, wide, narrow. Anyone can rock these hats, ladies and gentlemen. Unless you're like the Monopoly man. If you're like rich, rich people don't. This is, this is the hat of the working class. Right? You can't have a monocle and wear this hat. Like the Monopoly man. No super fractures yet, Todd. Yeah, Todd's got one of these kind of hats. Thanks, Ryan. Matt Walner with the twins. Uh, of the twins, going to uh, Steve Locke, who got the twins straight up. I got this from the Village Hatter in San, in San Diego. Sean, you too can get a hat there from the Villa Village Hatter? Something like that. Free plug for them. All right, Ryan says in the UK it's called a farmer's hat. In Birmingham they call it a Peaky Blinders hat. I don't know if they call it that in Birmingham. It's good. I haven't watched the latest season, but the first couple were pretty pretty rock solid. There's Mackenzie Gore, green paper to ninety nine. Out of 250, Casey Golden. <laughs> we got Gunnar Henderson to 499. Ken with the O's. Front door. Autograph back there.
And we've got Peyton Burdick. There you go, EA. Boom, some fish. For EA, it's in the game. I don't know what this guy's all about, but no skunks, at least for the Marlins. There you go. That's what he's all about. He got hit in the head by a comebacker. There you go. Let's hope he's a Hall of Famer. You're welcome, EA. Appreciate you trying. Now, well, we got one more for you, right? We got to find Phillies for you. Kendall Williams to 499 paper. All right, one more stack to go. Good luck, everyone. All right, let's see what this last stack has in store. And then we'll do that autograph recap. Good luck, everybody. We got Isaiah Gilliam, green paper to 99. And we got Dominic Fletcher for Greg McKinnon and the Diamondbacks. Got Jake Gunther to 250 purple paper. Office too. That, that alarm sound was different. Paper, 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 paper. And a couple chromes. Should be a couple more autographs, I think. Aha. Uh -huh. There's a redemption there. Now, the redemptions usually have been Hunter yeah. Bishops. Let's see what this is about. It's going to be... Oh, someone different. Chrome draft pick autograph. Blue refractor parallel. Parallel? Mason parallel? Parallel. Matt Lugo. Matt Lugo, where do you, where, where do you go? Matthew Lugo is a Red Sox. Picked in the second round. There you go. That goes to, thank you, Greg. That goes to uh, Fred. Greg also saying Boston. Baston. All right. So there you go, Fred. Maybe one more autograph in here. Uh, 
Dalton Varsho to 150. Blue paper. Blue chrome, that is. And this is all paper. And there he is, Matthew Lugo, out of 499. Paper. Chrome, 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 chrome. There's George Kirby to 250 purple chrome. And our final autograph is Matt Cantorino Twins. That will be for Steve Locke. Nice. There you go, Steve. And autograph recap coming up in just a bit. Let's just look at the rest of these cards and see if there's any parallels hiding in here. Parallels. Parallels. It's big hit time at the Jaspies. All right, no. No parallels. No. No parallels at the end, but here is an autograph recap. R -r 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 recap for Picker Team 11, eight box jumbo from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks to everybody for getting in on the action. Really appreciate it. We got some color there. We got some nice penmanship. We got some different teams. We got these inserts. We got some orange. We got some Hunter Bishop. We got a dual autograph at the beginning. We got an Adley Rushman. I've heard of him. He's a printing plate. He's pretty good. And there you have it. The printing plate, by the way, was of uh, Michael Massey for the Royals. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Nice break. Uh, pick your team 12 in the store. I think that's close to filling, so check that out. Super Jumbo coming up next, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.